I'm going to tell you about Overline. It is an embedded relational query language for Haskell. That is an SQL generator. Um, why do we want this? Well, I love writing Haskell, and I would like to love writing SQL, but I don't love writing SQL as it is. So I've embedded a language in Haskell that allows you to do uh, SQL queries in a type safe and composable manner. Type safe means it will not crash at SQL execution time, and composable means you can take um, smaller sub-programs that have the, their own well-defined semantics, compose them, and then the composition has the semantics of the composition. Um, this has been used in production for over a year at my client, where we've written several hundred lines um, Haskell files that compile to several hundred line SQL files, but the Haskell files are broken down into modular and reusable sections um, of one, two, three, five, ten lines of Haskell code. I did this by using some theory from David Stibbeck at MIT. He has a theory of wiring diagrams, which is a theory underlying relational queries that helped me come up with the API. And I also reused the AST type from Haskell DB, so that was really helpful to be able to, uh, to reuse that existing code. Haskell DB has a similar approach, but there are some API bugs that Opali solves. Um, I'm going to skip over this very quickly. You can't say compare an integer and a string, but you can also do an equivalent of new typing, which stops you comparing two integer IDs that shouldn't be compared because they represent different things in your tables. Uh, nullability is explicit, and aggregation is type safe. This part was really the hardest bit to do at Opali. Um, it seems to be very difficult to come up with the right idea for doing, um, uh, doing type safe aggregations, but Opali gets this right. We also get useful information, i.e. similar to the, the distinction between IO code and pure code. We have a distinction between code which looks at the data in the database and code that doesn't look at the data in the database. So what level can we abstract on? This is where wiring diagrams help. Um, this is an SQL query and this equivalent wiring diagram. Wiring uh, wires are basically columns, so they come out of tables. You can compare them, restrict based on them. You can pass them to numerical operators, etc. Here's another SQL statement. And here in red is the duplicated part. What I took away from the backpack talk is that it's good to have inputs as well as outputs. So OpenAI allows you to abstract at the level of inputs to SQL queries. And the, repeat, the repeated part is this third, third section at the bottom, uh, which OpenAI allows you to implement directly on its own. This is how we do it. We do it using arrow notation. Arrows seem to be the correct level of abstraction for, uh, for relational queries if you want to avoid type errors. So the arrow notation is exactly saying what this wiring diagram does. And in some sense, arrows correspond very closely to wiring diagrams. You take in a person ID, you compare it to the person ID that came out of the, the person table, and then you divide the columns height and age to get your result. Um, then we can reuse this in the queries we have to start with. So we just replace the parts of those queries which did that operation with the growth rate abstraction. This one was called growth rate, and now we're just using it uh, in the old department query. And again, we reuse the growth rate uh, abstraction in our address query. So, in summary, Opali is a type-safe EDSL for generating SQL and Haskell. It is also composable in the sense that we can um, pull out abstractions, reuse them, and name them at a very high level of granularity. I'm going to be bold and claim it's the only Haskell uh, EDSL for SQL with these properties. I'd very much like to, uh, for that claim to be invalidated, but at the moment I think it's, it holds. I didn't really say why aggregation is type safe and composable, but it is, and um, other, uh, other EDSLs in Haskell get this wrong. I'm not sure about in other languages. Um, and also importantly, if we want type safety, it seems we've got to use arrows. If you need to write very large queries, SQL queries, um, and you want them to be type safe and composable, then please come and chat to me, and um, I'll talk to you about it and give you some access to a beta, um, beta release of this code, which is eventually going to be open source. Wow, it's so uh, it's not on Hackit because it's not really uh, polished enough for public release. But um, a, uh, a group of people who are helping me with it have access to uh, 
the BSD repo and we're kind of getting it ready for release. Thank you very much. All right.